How's it going, folks? We're your stash here. We're going to take a look today at the little anti rotation push up series. Um, your goal here is to be able to reach that arm all the way without letting your body shift. So, this is a great way to see if one side of your body likes to load more than the other, how strong and stable your shoulders, obliques are, your hips are. Kind of takes a lot of things into account all at once. So, check it out here. So, we start from the push up position. Um, you'll progress this way, so you'll begin with your hands closer to each other and your feet wider, and that'll create a nice triangle base, and that'll make you a lot more stable. As that gets easier, we start widening the hands out and bringing the feet closer. So let's begin from here. Those feet close to that midline here. We'll spread those feet out a little bit. The key thing here is right from the beginning, my rib cage is down, my abs are tight, my butt's tight. These things are rock hard while I'm holding here. I'm going to slowly reach that arm out, and as I do so, there should be no shifting of the body. So I'll keep the rib cage in, I'm locked in place. Take a full breath in there, bring it down. Lock the other side down, deep breath in, embrace. Reach it out there, breathe in, do that as you come back. If you watch from this way, you'll be able to see if there's any shifting going on. So here. As I reach this hand out, your body is going to want to tilt over, usually away from wherever you're lifting. So your goal is to keep those hips still. So I don't want to see those hips. I don't want to see your hips wiggling side to side here. There shouldn't be any shifting one way or the other. Try to keep all that stuff nice and locked in. So to progressively get stronger this, if on the floor is too hard, which oftentimes it is for most people, you'll, you'll uh, regress, regress yourself by going up on like a box or a bench or back of the couch, table, chair, whatever. So that's a great way to improve your body's ability to resist rotation there. As you're reaching that arm out, keeping that thing locked in. So you're building shoulder stability, hip stability, and core stability all in one. Try it out and know how it goes.